I'm bringing this dinosaur planter into the frame to distract from the fact that my hair has changed a little bit. Should I make a video about this dinosaur? I don't know. Hey there, my name is Jonathan, and welcome to Leaving the Nest, the series on this channel that's all about moving out. We're not going to be making dinosaurs today. So by now, you know you want to move, and you know pretty much where you want to move to. But what about roommates? Let's face it, if you're looking up videos about roommates and apartments and all of that fun stuff, chances are you're not filthy rich. And one great way to bring down your living expenses and be a little less lonely is to live with other people. But where do you find a roommate? How many roommates should you get? And how do you make sure that they aren't serial killers? The first tip I'm going to give you guys is to start as early as possible. Ideally, start looking for roommates six months to a year before you move. This will give you enough time to find them, get to know them, and make sure that they aren't batshit crazy. The first people you should ask are your very close friends. These are the people who are least likely to bail on you last minute, and who you can probably trust the most. Then if that fails, you might turn to Facebook or Twitter or some other social media and just throw it out there that you are looking for a roommate. But if that fails, you are going to have to resort to strangers. And that can be scary. My current roommate comes from the internet, and although we've had our ups and downs, I would say things are going pretty well right now, and I'm happy with that. There are three ways to find trustworthy strangers to live with. Flyers, the internet, or friends of friends. One of them is obviously safer than the others. If you're advertising the fact that you are looking for a roommate, you have to be careful. It is super important that you meet the person before you start living with them. You can treat this like dating, but a little bit more serious, because you're probably going to have to live with this person for a year. No pressure, though. So a good thing to do is to get to know your roommates. Try to become friends with them. This is important. If you're not friends with your roommate, or you feel awkward hanging out with them, yeah, it's not going to be as much fun. You're going to start talking to them online, maybe texting them, maybe even a Skype or phone call, but eventually you're going to want to meet up with them. Now the best way to do this, and this applies to anybody that you meet over the internet, is to do it in a very, very public space. Think semi-crowded coffee shop with enough places to sit down, but not so much that it's completely empty. And let your friends know you're there. After your first platonic date, you're going to get a feel for how this person acts and if it goes well you're gonna hang out with them again and again and again and then once you move in it will be really really smooth but just like in any relationship as soon as some sort of issue arises talk about it with them don't be stringing along 50 potential roommates at a time and only picking one at the last minute that makes you a terrible person I'm not gonna give you things to look for in a roommate because this is different for everyone but just make sure it's someone you can trust not to stab you or steal your shit. Keep in mind that having more roommates does not always mean cheaper living expenses. For instance, if you're living with five other people, you'd have to find a huge place and well, that might be a little bit difficult. Also, if you're moving into a new area and you don't know anybody there who wants to move in with you, you can move in with someone else. For my first year of college, I rented out a room in someone's house. It was bigger than this one and cheaper. It also meant that I had someone to help me out with things like finding grocery stores or learning public transit or all of those things that happen when you go to a new city. Alright, I hope that was helpful for you guys and if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below and I will answer. Anyway, bye! Hello again, thank you for watching and quick announcement time. Me and Stefan are looking for a roommate in the Montreal area if you're interested, let us know. And also, I am changing my upload schedule to Tuesdays and Fridays with live streams on Wednesdays. This is probably going to be a good thing. Anyway, more on that later. Bye!